Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. I have some amazing news. Uh, yesterday I was at a doctor with a family member and they called the pharmacy because the doctor was putting them on Ozempic and they had it in stock. Now they don't have the two milligrams and it was ridiculous. I call up and I say, oh, do you have Ozempic in stock? And the pharmacist says, no, they're on back order. I said, well, so-and-so just called and you have it in stock. Why are you telling me no? Oh, well, we only have one box, but we can't tell you the dose. I said, okay, is it two milligrams? No, it's not. Is it one milligram? Yes, it is. Why couldn't you just tell me that and save some time? Like, it made no sense to me. So I am starting on the one milligram dose of Ozempic again, and hopefully they'll always have it in stock. And if not, I can start finding it again where I can go to different pharmacies and get it. So I am so excited about this, and I can't wait to share this journey with you. So we're calling this my Ozempic Reboot. Now, I weighed myself a few minutes ago, and I am 221 pounds. And I'm going to be less than that next week. And I know it. So for those of you who don't know, Ozempic is, whoops, <laughs> Ozempic is a drug for type 2 diabetics, such as myself, um, who also need to lose weight. It's one of the side effects of Ozempic. Shitty side effect, right? I, I'm like loving this. And I haven't had it in three months. And I was doing very well. I had lost 30 pounds to begin with on my journey. And now I, um, I've gained three pounds, but now only one pound because I was 219 when I stopped it and now, well, two pounds and now I'm 221. So I am so grateful that I was able to maintain my weight even off the Ozempic, but I wasn't able to lose the weight and that is my problem. And my blood sugar had spiked back up and there were a whole bunch of issues. They put me on metformin, which also is supposed to do something for your appetite, I think. Um, but it doesn't work on me like that, but it also hasn't dropped my numbers down significantly where this little baby had. <laughs> okay, I went from 7.2 to 5.8, which is like slightly maybe pre-diabetic, but not even. Um, so when I couldn't get it for the three months, I was really stressed out about it. But now we're back on it. I have a month's supply here. I will call up a week prior to see if I can get it, and then I'll call different pharmacies if I can't. And I'm a little nervous about starting on the one milligram because the 0.25 and the 0.5 gave me some side effects, but nothing horrible. Like I had really bad, and this is TMI, explosive poop, <laughs> okay? And I was exhausted, but I'm exhausted most times anyway. And I have explosive poop on a daily anyway because of the way my stomach is wired. So I'm going to show you how to use the Ozempic I am going to talk to you about Manjaro and Wegovi also. Manjaro is also for type 2 diabetics, where Wegovi is just specifically for people who need to lose weight. And I have a real problem with people taking like Ozempic who aren't type 2 diabetics and using it to control their blood sugar um, and not having enough for the rest of us that really and truly do need it for more than one thing, but especially to control my blood sugar. And I was eating really crappy there for a while, but because I have such stomach issues, I was able to control or not even control, I guess control or maintain my weight. Um, not that that's a number I want to maintain. And now hopefully we don't have to. I was looking for a measuring tape, which I can't find, but it's probably in this mess of a room I have. Um, so I could do my measurements, but I'll do that tomorrow. One day is not going to make a difference. So when you get Ozempic, you have to put it in the refrigerator um, and you have to let it thaw for about 15, 15 minutes, I would say. Um, and you'll, I'll show you what it looks like and how you know when it's ready to be injected. Now it comes with this and this is your vials. And you have four of them. So this is to protect, this has the needle inside of it. Okay, whoop, I just dropped one, excuse me. So this has the needle inside of it. And when you open it, you'll see the needle. You screw it on and then you're going to take it off. The Ozempic 
0.25 and 0.5 milligrams. I believe comes in like an RNG ready thing. This is the one milligram. And when you take it off, there's a cap right here. Now, if that looks cloudy at all to you, that means it's not ready to be taken yet. So you just give it a few more minutes because you wanna do it the right way so that it works. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So we're going to, first I'm going to stand up. I'm gonna push this back a little, a little bit and I'm going to clean off my stomach with an alcohol pad. And then I'm going to put the needle on take it off, show you what it looks like, and show you what to do. So you can inject Ozempic in one of three places. You can do the back of your arm, your stomach, or your thigh. I like it better in my stomach, and I'm going to clean this off right here. And you do it where the fatty part is, and you just get that really clean. You're going to take your Ozempic, and you're going to take the vial with the needle in it. And this is what the needle looks like. It's a very thin needle. You're going to put it on here until it stops. You are then going to take this and where it says zero, you're going to turn that to where it says one. And you stop where it says one or 0.25 or 0.5. You're going to take this off and this is protecting the needle. And don't throw those out, you need them later. And that's the needle. You can see it better without it right there. And you're going to stick it in your stomach where you cleaned. It does not hurt right there. You're going to press, you're going to hear clicking. Then the clicking stops. You take your finger off the pen. You leave it in there for about six to 10 seconds more to make sure that it's all going in. You take that off. You're going to take another alcohol wipe. You're going to clean that off where you did it. You're going to put, put this up. You're going to put this back on the needle so it's protected. And then you are going to put the top back on that. You're going to undo it. And then you're going to put the cap on and re-refrigerate this with the other vials. Then you are going to throw out the cap and in a safe way. And that is all that there is to taking it. You're going to put these items back in the box that comes with information packets. And like I said, then you're going to re-refrigerate it. And that is as simple as it is. Now, I know when I started taking the 0.25 milligrams, I didn't feel anything um, when I got, except for the diarrhea, but you're not gonna feel like, oh my God, all of a sudden I'm not starving. You're going to notice you're not as hungry and I'm going to be documenting any side effects this round I'm getting because I'm just starting on a higher dosage than what is recommended. But I've been on it before and I did really well with it. So fingers crossed, I'm still gonna do well with it. So that's how you take the Ozempic. I used to do, in case you are not new here, right? In case you're not somebody who's been with me for a while, I used to do Ozempic Thursdays. Now we're gonna do Ozempic Fridays and I will let you know any side effects I'm having, um, anything I'm feeling, and let you know my progress along the way. I will tell you my weight every week when I get on and measurements once a month. Okay, so if that sounds good, if you like that, and you like that my content, please think of liking and subscribing. I do have a giveaway that ends on December 10th, and you have to go to what it says giveaway. I think it's a Sheen Hall Plus giveaway. And you go on that and you just leave a comment, like, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll be entered in the giveaway. It goes off December 10th at midnight is the cutoff date. And I will contact whoever my winner is on the 11th. And I'm going to post a picture on my community page of what you're going to be winning. So good luck to everybody. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And let's start the Ozempic reboot and with week one. Thank you guys so much. Be happy. 
be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's no one else quite like you and that makes me so incredibly happy. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. You rock.